According to a tweet from Conflict Watch PSF on September 5, 2023, the Azerbaijani armed forces have recently deployed the KRL-122 Gazab 122mm multiple launch rocket system MLRS, in an incident related to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. This deployment comes amidst rising tensions between Azerbaijan and Armenia in the region. The KRL-122 Gazab is based on the Russian BM-21 Grad MLRS. The KRL-122 is a rocket launcher system that builds upon the BM-21 Grad MLRS, initially mounted on an Isuzu truck chassis and later adapted for the Rio M35 truck platform. Some sources also refer to this system as GADAB. The KRL-122 has the capability to launch both the original Soviet rockets and the indigenous Yarmouk rocket developed by Pakistan Ordnance Factories. It can reach a maximum range of over 40 kilometers with its improved 122 mm rockets. This rocket launcher can be mounted on vehicles or used as a trailer-mounted system for towing convenience. In this specific instance, it seems to be based on a Ural 375D 6x6 truck chassis, similar to the original BM-21 Grav. It is powered by a water-cooled V8 180-horsepower gasoline engine ZIL-375. The truck can reach a maximum road speed of 80 km per hour, has a range of up to 800 km on the road and can ford depths of up to 1.5 meters. The KRL-122 features an electric firing mechanism that can be operated from within the vehicle's cabin or remotely from a sheltered position located approximately 50 to 60 meters away from the launcher, using a cable-connected remote control device. It offers a 180 degrees traverse capability and can adjust elevation from 0 to 55 degrees, providing both electric and manual control options. With 30 tubes for launching rockets, the KRL-122 predominantly utilizes standard 122mm grad fin stabilized rockets manufactured by Pakistan Ordnance Factories. Additionally, the system is capable of firing the 122mm HE MBRL Yarmouk rocket, designed for ground-to-ground -ground engagements. The Yarmouk rocket is intended for use against personnel and light materials, delivering a combination of fragmentation and blast effects. It features a caliber of 122 mm, a weight of the filled warhead ranging from 18.4 kg without a fuse to 19.4 kg with a fuse, a propellant weight of 20.4 kg, a total rocket length of 2,875 mm, and a complete rocket weight of approximately 66 kg. It can reach a muzzle velocity of 400 meters slash second and has a range of 20 kilometers, with a back blast extending up to 50 meters to the rear. The Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is a long-standing territorial dispute between Azerbaijan and its Armenian majority population, supported by Armenia. This conflict has its roots in historical tensions between Christian Armenians and Muslim Turkic Azeris, dating back over a century. In the early 20th century, Karabakh, an area historically inhabited by both Christian Armenians and Turkic Azeris, fell under Russian jurisdiction. During the 1920s, following World War I and the Bolshevik Revolution, Soviet authorities established the Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Region within the Soviet Socialist Republic of Azerbaijan, despite its predominantly Armenian population. The situation escalated dramatically in 1991, coinciding with the dissolution of the Soviet Union. At this point, Karabakh declared itself an autonomous republic, sparking a full-scale conflict between Armenian and Azerbaijani forces. These hostilities, which lasted from 1992 to 1994, resulted in significant casualties and ended with Armenians gaining control of Nagorno-Karabakh and surrounding Azerbaijani territories. A ceasefire brokered by Russia in 1994 left Nagorno-Karabakh and its neighboring regions under Armenian administration, but it also led to the large-scale displacement of residents from their homes. From 1994 to 2020, the region remained in a fragile ceasefire, occasionally disrupted by armed confrontations. In 2017, a referendum led to the adoption of a new constitution, changing the official name from Nagorno-Karabakh Republic to the Republic of Artsakh, with both titles being recognized. 
In 2020, a new phase began with the outbreak of the Second Karabakh War. Azerbaijan launched a military campaign that resulted in the recapture of territory near Karabakh. To oversee the ceasefire, including the strategically important Lakin Corridor, connecting Nagorno-Karabakh to Armenia, Russian peacekeepers were deployed. In 2022, skirmishes occurred along the Armenia-Azerbaijan border, resulting in casualties on both sides. Disagreements arose regarding the Lakin Corridor, with Armenia arguing that an Azerbaijani blockade had caused a humanitarian crisis in the area, while Azerbaijan advocated for separate routes for civilian and cargo transportation. The Nagorno-Karabakh conflict continues without a resolution, and international efforts, including those by the OSCE's Minsk Group and the European Union, have made limited progress. The role of Russia, France, and the United States, as members of the Minsk Group, has been complicated by Russia's involvement in the Ukraine conflict, raising uncertainty about its mediation role in Nagorno-Karabakh.